Oh my god, I forgot what was in here. I knew from the moment I realized I still had this wig that this ensemble would be so cute. This is so cute. I want to wear this as an everyday look. I'm like pastel goth, but without the pastel. Like I want to marry Michael Fassbender, but I'm always down for a funeral. So today we're going to talk about wigs. eBay wigs, Amazon wigs, Argo wigs, wigs, all the wigs. So let's talk about the pros and cons of not wearing a wig at all. So I actually have a friend who's an avid cosplayer. She will not cosplay anything that she has to wear a wig for. She will use hairspray to color her hair into different colors in order to achieve the look that she wants, but if she has to put a wig on, it's not going to happen. She does an awesome Joker. She does an awesome Detroit cosplay. And I can respect that, because guess who also does that? This girl right here. But right now I want to talk to you about eBay wigs. I know a lot of cosplayers will just gasp at the thought of buying from eBay, but honestly, I've had some great experiences with buying from eBay. I bought this wig from eBay. It's very, very thin. You can see the cap through the hair, which is why I kind of doll it up with a hat. But it is a wig that is meant to be down. It's, a, it's a, for a down-do look. It's very easy to comb through, but it's very, very thin. It does not have the wefts in it like proper wigs should. It has more of a knitting into it, which can overheat your brain if you wear it for too long in a warm setting. These are what I'm talking about. This is the good stuff right here. Just shove that in your face right now. The trouble with eBay wigs, though, is that you do not know what is coming in your mailbox. This goes the same for Wish. This is the expectation color of the wig, and this is the reality. This is what I got on eBay about a month after I ordered it. I ordered this for Grimma Rick to have like a more feminine look to it. I think I spent like eight or nine dollars on it, and I'll definitely wear it for something else. But I was severely disappointed because I thought it'd be a lighter color of blue that I could wear with Grimma Rick. I should start saying it's a Grimma Ricky. This is my crazy Grimma Ricky wig. I bought this on Amazon, it's pretty good quality, but I soon realized that this is not the kind of wig that you want to be styling up in spikes. This is also the kind of wig that is like the one on top of my head where it doesn't have those nice wets in it, and it just kind of has this weird nutting where if you cut into it, you're going to destroy the wig. This wig is very, very dead, and if you want to style it in spikes, you're going to have some trouble because you can see the nutting underneath the wig and it does not create a great illusion to spiky grandma hair. Actually like this, I think I can kind of get down with this and don't ask why it's in curlers, it's a secret. Also, eBay note, read in the description like if it's going to come separated because I have had two Harley Quinn wigs that I've ordered online in hopes that it came separated, like pre-separated. And it didn't, I had to separate myself and then we get this garbage and then we just get Allure giving up and just wearing it down. This one I got on eBay and I have a wig cap in it. I think I wore it two videos ago, and I really like it. It just seems like really, really full. See, why can't, Why is this so full? I don't see the cap in it, and then yet this one, I'm not going to take my hat off because the whole wig will come off. I'll just be laying it down, and it's just like, there's the cap. I have leaned more towards Amazon these days because you can have free returns. eBay, it's long gone. Like, if you want to spend eight bucks on a wig, wait two months to get it in hopes that it's the right color, and it's the right style, and it's a good quality. You do you, boo-boo. This bad girl, on the other hand, is an Amazon wig, and she's one of my favorites. She has gone through a process of transformation. She's very thick, I washed her hair out, I curl, I brushed out all of her curls, and then she still has that form that she's taken hold of. I, br I washed her hair, and I brushed out all the curls that... and her hair has still taken that form of kind of curly, kind of caned. I washed her hair out, um, I washed her hair out, I combed her hair out, just to kind of get rid of that crazy knot of a curled hair look that she had, and this is what it came out to be, and I'm really, really happy with it. I also used ink to dye her roots to give her, like, a little bit more natural ombre, because, like, what I received in the mail was not what I ordered from Amazon. And she's still a work in progress, but with a permanent marker, I'm trying to give her some roots to her look, and this is going to be for She-Hulk next year. This is an Amazon wig, and I'm so happy with it. And yeah, I'm really happy with this one, and I'm okay with this one. These are both Amazon wigs, and they both have very different styles to them. You want to get wigs that look more like this, 
not like this. I think the reason why this looks like it does is because it's marketed as a cheap anime wig. It cost maybe 15 bucks. This bad girl, on the other hand, was marketed to women who wanted just a wig to wear for a party or for an event or just for fun or for fashion sake. And it was maybe 25 bucks, not too bad considering it was marketed to women of fashion. And I'm so happy with her. She's probably an Ardor quality wig. Maybe I won't go as far as that because of how much work I've had to put into her, but I'm really happy with this wig overall. So Amazon can be hit and miss as well. I will still buy wigs from Amazon. But you have not lived until you have bought an Arda or an Epic Cosplay wig or Rockstar wig. Wig. This little mop ball that I've been throwing around is an Epic Cosplay wig. So I bought this wig because I wasn't sure that I was going to have short blonde hair for the rest of my life. And because Power Girl is such a staple character for me, I decided to buy a piece of hair that was a good quality that looked like Power Girl's hair. I also use this wig for Gwen Stacy, Spider Gwen. Who else do I use this for? If I turn the cap inside out, you have a bunch of wefts that look beautiful and it's just like the She-Hulk wig. It's just such great quality. The reason why it looks like a little mop ball is because my friend Stacy borrowed it and then she forgot to give it back to me and then mailed it in a package along with my Resistance Pilot suit. Thanks Percy, I miss you too. If you have a character that you really love and you want to cosplay a couple times a year, I definitely suggest buying a decent quality wig. Last but not least is lace front wigs. Lace front wigs are amazing for cosplays that show your forehead in the front. I purchased this because I do a lot of black haired characters right now. She's probably used mostly for Marceline, though I wanted to use her for Momo from My Hair Academia. But you have to be careful with lace front wigs because lace front wigs, some of them are only meant for sitting like this. There's other lace front wigs where the wig goes all around the head. They're a very common use amongst drag queens. And they're beautiful, but they're very, very expensive. The two that I have right now are from Amazon, and I've been, I, I could be more impressed. There's also wigsisfashion.com, Rockstar Wigs, and of course Arda and EpicCosplayWigs.com that you can buy from. If you guys have any experience with lace front wigs from either of those websites, hit me up, because I'm really curious to know. So before you invest in cosplay wigs, before you decide to cut your hair for a costume, just be smart and do your research. Ask around, ask for other people's experience, on websites because face it we all buy our wigs online nowadays so that's my opinion on wigs but honey honey if you buy halloween store wigs you don't love yourself honey i have seen hair on barbies that's better quality than this why did i buy this <gasps> look at the wets it's terrible just don't get halloween wigs what are you doing what is this? It's a sexy screen siren? No, yes. Sexy screen siren wig. Who is this supposed to be? 